ELA 8, week 3, here's what you got to do. Two assignments. Uh, Diary of Anne Frank, characters and background information. Let's look at that one first. Okay? There's a PowerPoint here, and there's a graphic organizer here. So if you click on the graphic organizer, basically it lists each person. Now remember, anytime you get a Word file in any class, you got to go up to the right, hit Edit Document, Edit in Browser, in order uh, to be able to type in here. Okay, and so you're just going to type into each box some notes about each of these characters. How do you know about these characters? Well, you're going to use the PowerPoint. So uh, if I click back here, click close on that, brings me back here. This PowerPoint right here, if I click on that, it's going to ask you to open the desktop version. It might not. It should pop up right here, but for some reason it's not. So I'm just going to click open in PowerPoint. And then when this pop up comes up, I'm just going to click open again. And it's going to open in PowerPoint. And now I'm just going to go through the slides here. So a little background there about the Holocaust and the diary of Anne Frank and what it was. And then as you go through, there will be uh, slides about each character. So Anne Frank, here's some information. Pick out the most important information, put it on the graphic organizer. Otto Frank, same thing. Pick out the most interesting information, put it on the graphic organizer. So there's a slide for all these different people, and these are all the different people that are on the graphic organizer. Okay. So you're gonna use these PowerPoint slides and I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So since I downloaded this, I can grab the top of this and bounce this to the corner of my screen and it will make it half the screen. Now it'll show me all of my other things here. I wanna click back on my Teams here. If I click close here and click here, watch what happens. I'm able to, remember Word document, edit document, edit in browser. And now on this side, I can see my slide here about Anne Frank and right in this box, I can start typing some notes based on the information over here. See how that works? So you can do a little split screen here where your notes are over here and the slides are over on the right. Might be a good way to have it set up. All right, when you're done, you can just close that, go back into the team. You should have all of your boxes filled in. You click close and you click turn in. Okay, that's the first assignment. The second one is April independent reading because the month of April is over. Um, so you're gonna create a Flipgrid video showing and telling about your April reading. You must show your calendar and tell Mrs. Wood how many minutes you read show your three summaries, and you must show your six journal responses. There's an example video in Flipgrid, okay? Right here, the reference material, this is just your codes. So depending on what period you are in, okay? So if you're in second period, you use Wood ELA period two. So let me show you how to do that. So uh, new tab, and we're just gonna go to flipgrid.com. We're gonna look right here where it says enter a flip code. This is where you type in wood, ELA, and your period, okay? Then it's gonna ask you to log in. You do not wanna log in with Google, you wanna log in with Microsoft. So you're gonna click on that, click on your account, and it should boot you in automatically because you're already signed in uh, to Office, okay? So here uh, is the uh, example video, if you click play, Hi guys, I'm here today to... Mrs. Wood will walk you through exactly what you got to show and how to show it on the video. And when you're ready to record, you just click this green plus sign to record a response. Remember to click through, take a selfie, click submit at the end in order to get it to post to Mrs. Wood. So that's all you need to do uh, for that. Show off your journals. So you can close these back out. And when you come back here, just click that purple turn in button in the top right corner. Uh, that will just alert Mrs. Wood that you've finished the Flipgrid and she can log into Flipgrid and check your video out, video out and uh, give you credit for that. So that's what you gotta do for ELA for this week.